Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Today, we are continuing our adventure. We cleared up a lot of Crazy Dave's backyard last time, and with it, we were able to save Mo from being hacked by Dr. Zomboss. It was a lot of stuff going on, but now, of course, we need to start a new day. But to do that, we need another ticket. So let's go back over here, and we have all of our plants that we've been unlocking available to use. So let's try level 22. Cherry Bomb destroys all zombies in a 3x3 area. Use Cherry Bomb to defeat the zombies. So, as you can see, you can put a Cherry Bomb right here, and just in classic Cherry Bomb fashion, he destroys all of them. Remember to save some for later levels. I definitely will for when the game gets a lot more difficult, uh, presumably. But for right now, I'm just gonna be focused on getting some flowers out, and we'll just try to get through this level as efficiently as possible. But it's cool that, you know, different power-ups are starting to pop up. Okay, I'll go ahead and put that there. And I think later today, I might end up getting that one little booster pack that has more power-ups involved with it. Figured that might be a fun thing to check out, but for right now, no zombies are popping up. This is oddly quiet. We do have some bong choys we can use here too. So I think that I'll do one more sunflower right there and then a walnut right here, I think is what we want. And with that, I can Probably also just get a squash for that other zombie right there. And then I want a bong choy on one of these lanes. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated for the time being. This is where I really wish we had a potato mine. I hope that's a plant we unlock soon. Usually we unlock it much sooner than we have so far in this game. Okay, I just want that right here, I think. There we go, that should be a good spot for it. Now if we could just work on getting a bong choy for that bottom lane. I think that's the next best thing. So I need two more sun for that is the difficult thing. Here we go, two more sun right there. So get that there and then just try to get more sunflowers up before any more zombies start popping up. I think that's my next best bet. So right there, got it. Looks like I might need another walnut here soon too, but there's this a lot going on. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. This is only the first of two flags, so I gotta be careful, but I think we can handle it pretty well. Another walnut right there. Uh, and we do also have the bamboo shoots, which are actually less expensive than the bong choy, for good reason, too. I think that the bamboo shoots don't really knock out zombies as fast. So, we'll have to see what we wanna do here, but I guess for right now, since there's a lot of zombies here, I'll try to stack something up like this, and then a walnut over there if I can. Oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Ready, boom, got it. Okay. Not so bad. There's just so much to focus on here, but we're getting a lot of points, and that's always good. If I could just get this, boom, Bong Choi can go crazy again. I would like a little bit more for another sunflower. Here we go. We're making some stuff happen here. This is this is pretty good. I want one more sunflower to top off that one spot, but maybe over here I can do bamboo shoot. Okay. Uh yep. Get this like this. And we will I guess just get this here. Okay, that seems fine to me. I don't think we need any more sunflowers, but we'll see in just a moment as the huge final wave is coming in. A little stressful. One last bong choy. We have enough for another bamboo shoot. I'll do it right there, just that way it has like the area of effect it needs. You hit both, but technically all the lanes, as long as the zombies are in the right spot. All right, so I gotta put that one up. There's the last setup of everything. So I'm just really trying to make sure we're as suited up as possible. I think we'll be okay here. Maybe a walnut after that buckethead gets a little bit closer. I just wanna try to keep everybody on that three point line if possible. That's what's really getting me a lot of set. The bong shui walnut combo proving to be really helpful. But there we go, long clear. And with it, look at all these points coming in, all these coins. Wow, tons of gravestones. Almost 60 coins. I think that's been the most beneficial level we've had so far. All right, so let's see what else we're gonna get here. Obviously we got that ticket now, so we should be able to jump through and uh, start the new day for real. So day three is beginning. Huh? Rats, the garden is swamped with Z-Fog. We've gotta save whatever plants are left. I will gladly volunteer my services once again. Please stand back while I decon decontaminate the area. No way, you can't keep exposing yourself to that gribble. You're not indestructible, you know. It is the least I can do. The atrocities I committed in that garden simply do not compute. Chin up, little buddy. Whatever you did, it can't be that bad. 
Oh no, I guess we'll see. Whoa. Oh man, this place is destroyed. That's not good. Flibble, it's so much worse than I could have imagined. Well, I guess we just have to fix it up. But we've earned up enough here that we can claim our next reward. Whoa, lunchtime, you've earned a group reward. What do we get inside of this lunchbox? A bunch of power-ups being added to our collection, that's always good to see. So I guess we can continue on at this point with this destroyed garden. I don't know if there's too much more we can do here, so let's go ahead and just move to the next level where we have plenty of other stuff going on. All right, let's get started. Some levels will start with plants that you don't have access to on your team. You can't plant more, so do your best to protect them. They'll play an important part in the level. So I guess we have to protect these squashes as much as possible, and as you can see, there's not really too much of a spot to plant much other stuff. So I guess for right now, if I could just earn up as much sun as possible for the sunflowers and then afterwards some walnuts, I think that's really what we gotta focus on for the time being. No zombies are popping up just yet, so it does buy us some time, but how much time is the question, yeah. As you can see, we already have a zombie popping up and ready to go. So things can get pretty complicated pretty fast here. So let's go ahead and grab that and just do what we can. I want at least one more sunflower here and then we can start working on maybe a bamboo shoot. I think a bamboo shoot, bamboo shoot would be better just because, uh, oh man, but there's more zombies popping up. I might have to save the sun where I can. Never mind. we'll just do this. Uh, man, this is getting really stressful already because how am I supposed to save these squashes under this condition? Here, maybe one more sunflower, then we'll worry about the walnuts. Come on, one more, one more. There it is, boom, there, two more, right there. Perfect, now we're moving a little bit more. There's still a lot more to worry about here as these other, oh jeez, I don't know. Uh, I think that squash is just done for, yep. <laughs> Unfortunate, I did what I could, but a huge wave of zombies are coming in. We have three flags to survive here. This is ridiculous. Uh, I guess I'll do this. I will uh, get this here, I think. We should have almost enough for more soon. Okay, gonna, oh, uh, you know what, Never mind. I'll just do this, <laughs> work on that one a little bit. It's just not enough. There's not enough time, there's not enough sun. These are one of these, uh, one of those levels that just feels like it's trying to force me to use power-ups or something, but I refuse to give in so easily. I still have other options here, so I wanna make the most of those. I think we really want to try to, oh man. I guess get this here. It just feels like as soon as I get enough sun to do something, something else happens. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Got that there, that's at least something. This is the second to last flag here, so I can get that set up on that side. And then maybe just save up enough sun for, oh, okay, wait, the, the Grapes of Wrath coming in for the huge save right now. This is a difference maker for sure. There it is, awesome. Then I will do a bamboo shoot here, one more sun, very, very much would be helpful. There you go, awesome. Earning up some extra points there. Okay, we haven't missed out on too much more. I would like to put this here for now. And then just focus on getting a bamboo shoot on the top lane. I think that's our next big spot for it. So if I could just get one more sun right there, put that over here, we're good to go. We're making moves happen. One way or another, I do need to maybe set up a walnut here. There we go. Ooh, that one squash finally activating. Lots of bucket heads coming in. This is exactly what we needed the squashes for, all these guys, but no, I did what I could. I think at this point we just get another one of these here so that we can get the, the big explosions happening exactly where they need to be. And I think we'll be fine. I think at this rate we'll be able to clear out this level one way or another. We still have one more squash left on the field, so at least we survived with that. That's always good to see. Okay, this is where I'll slow things down, because it is a little bit scary. Maybe I will dig up this walnut and just put up another one right there. And then, instead of this, we'll do that. Let's see how, no, 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 no. Whoa, there we go. I think we got it, I think we got it. There we go, so we really got through that pretty well. All things considered, lawn clear. And a bunch of coins to earn here, 50 coins and one taco ticket. I think we can start zooming through this a little bit faster, right? So there's that done. 
And whoa, Chomper's big bite. Look at this one. So for this, we also get like other rewards. These are all paid as well, but it's mostly just coins and power-ups so far. We don't get any plants out of it. So I don't know if it's something I need to worry about too much for the time being. I will close out of this for now and it lasts for a bit. My problem is that, like I said before, this game is available in multiple regions, but none of them are the region I reside in. So I don't think any of my payment methods work. So I don't know if I'll actually have the chance to showcase many of these. Um, for right now though, it just doesn't seem to be all that exciting. It's more of the stuff we've already seen. If they offered like plant bundles or something, that'd be different, but I don't know if that's even how the game works for now. Anyways, as you can see, we earned up enough tickets for day three, where we have follow Mo's path to de of destruction. All right. Oh, Mo, you really turned Uncle Dave's garden into a messy mud salad, didn't you? What have I done? Ugh, I become hacked, destroyer of lawns. <laughs> There's nothing left. Without my garden, we'll never be back to zombie evasion and build a fog vacuum to save Neighborville. Please allow me to begin repairing the garden immediately. <laughs> I'm experiencing a critical internal systems error. This condition is quite unbearable. Query. Is this what humans call regret? It might just be this EFA growing in your crankshaft. Don't worry, little buddy, I could never stay Morgan at, mad at you. <laughs> Let's roll out a fresh new lawn. We'll have this place looking green-tastic in no time. All right, so I guess we're just working on repairing the garden today. So with that being said, it looks like there's not too much going on over this way. We just hop back in. All right, so no new plants with this one, but we do get to use all of the plants except for sunflower this time. So let's see if we can't destroy those zombies. The sunflowers are already there for us, so we just gotta make sure they stay nice and protected. And we'll have to see exactly how I wanna do this. I might try to save up for the bong choy right away. Bong choy and walnuts might be a good combo. Okay, so bong choy here. I think you should be able to punch them away, at least in the, the three point or two point area, that'd be pretty good. We just make sure we're getting a sunflower every moment of the way, we should be fine. Another one right there. I think the bong choy should be able to get rid of that zombie while it reaches the two point zone, so that's pretty good. Don't quite have enough for this next bong choy until now. All right, so just keep putting them here and then we'll focus on getting walnuts out as soon as possible. I think that's sort of our best bet for making all this work. Soon enough, I'm gonna want walnuts, but I just wanna save it to make sure that I'm making the most out of the situation. So I'll get this here. We need one more sun. Okay, here comes a bucket head. So that's where things get a little scarier. I think we put a walnut there. Then maybe a squash for that one spot where there's just a brown coat. Not quite sure. Let's see how much sun we can get before I decide on that. I can just get one more right there. I think we'll be fine. There we go, earning up some points too. That's great to see. Okay, good stuff for sure. The bucket head is definitely a bit scary, but if we just wanna work on getting walnuts out wherever I can, and while they're reloading, we can work on other plants too. Things like the bamboo shoot, and just go kaboom. Got it, awesome. And with that, the walnut is halfway restored, so definitely getting somewhere. We need more sun from these sunflowers, pronto. Bamboo shoot right there also seems like a good idea. There we go. All right, all right, final wave approaching. Oh man, oh man. Here, I'm gonna speed things up a little bit here and then maybe just get this one there, and then this one up here. This is the final wave, so we should be fine with all this, and all the Grapes of Wrath are coming out. Very explosive action, that's what we wanna see, and boom, got it. So, yeah, it turned out pretty well in the end. Bit of a scary level, but with those bong choys out and punching away, we got ourselves up a ton of coins here. It looks like 55 and one taco ticket. Let's continue with that then, and see what else is next for us. Okay, whoa, hole in one. Beat levels on your first try to earn rewards. So I guess I just did that once. Right now, if I do it again? Whoa, okay, so we're hopping to level 25 here. Sure, I'll do this and then we'll spend our tickets after. Uh, if I need to beat the level on the first try, should I maybe do some backup strategies here, use some of these other power-ups? I don't know if I need to. 
I don't know if it's something to stress too much about, but we got a bunch of walnuts and two sunflowers is our setup here. What's the deal with that? I'm a little confused, but try to figure it out. For right now, I think the general goal will just be to get out more sunflowers as soon as we can. Yeah, no signs of any zombies yet. Okay, we have one right in the middle over this way. So I think no pea shooter just yet. Set a sunflower there if we can get two more sun. Then I can get the bong choy right there, just as we have before. Now I can get a pea shooter on that bottom lane, or second to bottom lane, I suppose, just to stop this zombie from eating away at those walnuts for a little bit longer. Because we probably want to save those for a good long while, don't we? Okay, so, more sun there. That's enough for a pea shooter. I think it's time to maybe work on getting the bong choy at the bottom lane. For that way, you need a few more pieces of sun here. It's getting a little bit too much. Come on, sunflowers, I need you to put in some work here. Come on, <laughs> they're chilling out. Okay, I guess right here, they might be a little bit too close. Definitely a concern, but no, they ate my bong choy, I can't believe it. Get out of here with that. That is the worst. Um. Okay, so I'll put a pea shooter here just to deal with it. There we go, just need one more hit too. That is really not good. Wish I could have had the opportunity to put more sunflowers out here, but I think we just gotta make do with what we have. One more sun should at least get this bong choy here that if we could save up a walnut for it, come on. Just to keep it nice and protected, that'd be fantastic, but I'm just waiting for it. Here we go, awesome. So, this is pretty intense so far, but I can go ahead and squish this group without too much of an issue. I'm a little bit worried about this central lane bong choy. I might just have to put a sunflower here or something to buy us some time. Oh, yeah, okay, the grapes of wrath almost ate my bong choy, but instead disaster strikes yet again. Not even enough to even just defeat that conehead. A little disappointing there, to say the least. I think now is actually my chance to put up more sunflowers though, so definitely wanna take that opportunity. Final wave approaching. I wanna clear this, whoa, a gargantuar! Uh-oh, that's not good. I see why they gave us all that extra walnut stuff. Okay, go ahead and just start squishing you. If it's anything like previous PVC games, we're gonna need a couple of uh, squashes to get the job done, but even then, still might be pretty messy. I don't know if I should have dug that one up. Uh, oh no, we got the M2, not good. Okay, this is sort of the best I can do at the time being. Maybe another walnut there, just to buy us some time, however possible. Keep punching, bok choy, keep punching. And we're just trying to earn up that next squash, but this Gargantuar is starting to look a little bit more beat up. Gargantuar looks a lot more different in this one. There we go, we can punch him from behind too, and that definitely slows things down a little bit. We have enough for the squash, but we don't even need it. Off goes the head of our Gargantuar, and our lawn is clear. That was a first try as well, so pretty huge rewards coming in. We get 51 coins and another taco ticket. So that was a first try. Do we get anything cool for it? Uh, we get them asking for me to, maybe later. Um, so I got one, but if I do that two more times, then I guess beat levels on your first try to earn more rewards. Okay, wait, no, wait, I'm not ready. Let's go back. I wanna spend some of these tickets. So first off, let's roll out some fresh lawn just here. After planting 3,628,431 seeds of plants or something, woo. Now that's what I call rolling out the green carpet. I love that fresh lawn smell. We must not disturb the fresh grass. <laughs> Perhaps a pathway around the garden allowing us to continue our improvements is in order? Some pathways through the garden would make it much easier to get around. Great idea, Mo. All right, so we can do this one straight away too. Add garden pathways. Let's do it. Which kind of pathways do we want? Whoa. Okay, so it looks like it's the same overhang every time. So we're really just deciding on the actual path, which out of all of these, I appreciate this one the most. These pathways sure make the garden more inviting, don't they? Maybe a little too inviting. We need to make sure the zombie horde doesn't wreck this place. There won't be anything left for the zombie horde to wreck if the crankle rebbin pigeons rip up our newly planted grass. 
We'll need some plumple plant power to protect the garden. Time to plant a pea shooter garden patch. Okay, so plant a pea shooter garden. We'll do that after we tackle our next level right over here, level 26. Okay, so for level 26, we have all sorts of plants here, but mostly squashes. Whoa, and we get like a new background here too. This is neat. I guess we're, you know, in the campground a bit more. Did we have this background before and I just didn't notice? I don't think so. This is really neat. So of course, we're not traveling through time or anything like we were in Plants vs. Zombies too, but this is still a pretty cool theme we got going on with the campground. So let's keep it moving. And it looks like we have some zombies getting a little bit closer. It's mostly about bong choys right now. I wish the walnuts were moved over a little bit more so we could get more points out of this, but it's fine. We'll go ahead and just like squash where we can to earn up some extra points here and there, but I'm mostly focused on sunflowers for the time being anyways. Okay, so we'll do something like that, just so that we can earn up, earn up extra points squashing these zombies on the three point line. But also I don't wanna get too carried away focusing on points when we could be just, you know, uh, making it through these levels without too much of an issue. I don't want to set myself up in a bad spot just because I was trying to get extra lead points. Cause that's gonna end up costing me a whole lot more time. But I think for the time being, we can just go ahead, place way more sunflower so that we can get way more bong choys out here. One right there, should do the trick, and up sunflower here. We're speeding along pretty well. I got the speed up function activated. I could go ahead and squash this group and that group. Whoa, some of these sun, sun bits are uh, disappearing. So let's maybe slow things down for a bit so I can catch up a little bit more. I think right about here, maybe we'll do the trick. I don't know if that'll be one point. I guess it will just be one point. That's okay. Okay, keep it moving now. We gotta be careful also just because we don't get any extra walnuts here. Whoa, but the Grapes of Wrath are doing their thing as well. Okay, so how else do we wanna manage this? I think maybe just grabbing all that stuff, putting this here. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. This is our second flag of three. There's a lot to get through, so I just gotta keep moving. I mean, I guess I could, you know, put out a bong choy farther out, but is it worth the risk of doing all that? I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess I could do it here because Worst case scenario, we lose a bonk choy, but we have a lot of extra sun right now. I don't think it's too big of a deal. We can squash a lot of zombies. Boom, right there, we got three points for each of them too, which is fantastic. I'll get this bonk choy over here. And we lost that other one, unfortunately. So yeah, that's gonna happen eventually. But with all this extra sun, I don't think it's that big of a deal, especially since we're trying to protect the walnuts for as long as possible. I'll go ahead and start punching you as soon as you get, yep, right there, so you don't eat the bong choice right away. And now it's gonna clear out that cone head real fast. Okay, we might actually be able to get two rounds of the Grapes of Wrath this level, which would be the first time that's happened. That'd be pretty cool. Can we protect this bong choice if possible? I think we got it. Okay, that squash didn't squish anything. That's not so good. I will wait for these guys to move, and then same deal, just get the punching. Huge amount of zombies coming up. The Grapes of Wrath are here too, keeping everything busy. That's what we like to see. All right, and it looks like just a little bit more coming out here. I'll do this one, just to speed up a little bit more. There we go, excellent. Nice, we got a ton of points for this one, for sure. Another long clear, and with it, a bunch of coins. 75 coins and a taco ticket. That's a huge reward. We're almost up to 3,000 coins now. We haven't really actually found too much of a use to spend them except for retrying levels. But for right now, we have our taco ticket. I wanna try this plant, the pea shooter garden. Oh, they're so cute, little baby pea shooters. What a great spot to raise a new patch of baby pea shooters. They can help keep those pesky pigeons away. With a little target prac pack and already died of sunshine and secret plant formula, these recruits will be battle ready in no time. Our sprouts deserve to be raised in a nice nurturing environment before we plunge them headlong into a nightmarish war for survival. Perhaps I could cultivate some topiaries in one of three whimsical styles. Greater Dave, please authorize. All right, but only if I get to build a garden statue. I always thought those were kind of fancy. Ooh, I can help with that. I just got my garden statue fabrication installation merit badge at camp. Wow, 
So I guess we have maybe more than one thing to do here. Place top berries and add a garden statue. So definitely want to work towards that a bit more. We're getting well on the way to our final group reward for the league. So definitely just want to keep moving on with levels, especially since we have 10 more to go for this day. This is definitely going to be a lot more involved than the previous days. Uh, imps are quick, but fragile. Oh no. Hey, here they come. But maybe one shot? He has enough to destroy the match. Great to see. Ready, set, and play. I'll just skip it. There we go. Just want to save some time here and put some sunflowers down as soon as possible. That one brown coat should be done for just going against the bamboo shoot. If I'm not mistaken, there we go. We get two points for it as well, so that's always good. I'm all in when it comes to focusing on the uh, sunflowers for right now. I don't want to speed it up too much just because I don't want to be wasting any amount of efficiency, I don't think. But we don't have bonk choice this time. So I think that for the most part, yeah, I'm better off focusing on things like this. And then if I can, just one more sun would get me what I need for you. Awesome, let's get two more suns so I can finish off this row of sunflowers like that and like this, awesome. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting there. Okay, that should clear out a decent chunk of them. But more zombies are on the way. This might be where I have to resort to using squashes. Especially with this Empia getting a little too close for comfort there. Two rows of sunflowers would absolutely be very helpful. So, trying to see how we can do that, make that happen. I think I'll do a squash here. I think a squash is a good opportunity. Oh man, this is a little scary actually. Come on, bamboo shoots, do your thing. That was good, one up there. Come on, fire, there it is. Oh no, now that zombie next to that sunflower, that one might end up being a problem. Does, oh no, we got him, okay, cool. Sunflower back on top of there then, and now it's the end of the level. Okay, I thought there was gonna be more to that one, but long clear, it was luckily a fast one. So I will get all of this, 49 more coins, and we're just gonna keep moving. Lunch time, you got an event at reward. Tap to claim your prize. We get 30 more minutes of the infinite brains, 100 coins, and a chili pepper. So we're over 3,000 coins now, how exciting. So, back over here, spend our taco ticket on placing topiaries with Mo. Okay, so we have a choice between this one, this one, and this one. Oh, I gotta do this one with the chomper, walnut, and bong choy. This looks so cool. So chomper's gotta show up in the game at some point. Hey, what do you graggle look at that fine top area thing? Now when will it start growing tacos? It won't grow tacos, Uncle Dave. It's a decoration. <laughs> All right, well, let's go for another level then so that we can actually work on the statue that Crazy Dave and, uh, was it Patrice want to work on? All right, so this time we get all walnuts and uh, squashes. This one's a lot different. So I guess I'll start with, uh, oh, how do I want to do this one? I guess, yeah, let's get some walnuts out as soon as possible because it's actually a little bit scary here. Get that there, and I guess this here, because we don't get any extra Sun, we don't get any extra sunflowers. So I'm guessing what we need to do is get walnuts out and then have these zombies sort of group up as much as possible and then squish them like that. That might be our best bet. So let me get that here. Because if we just put it one per zombie, I feel like we're gonna run out of squashes really fast. So I'll put that there. Oh no. Yeah, this is exactly what I was worried about. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. I think I'll be able to squish that one imp before it gets to be too bad, but after that, focus on some other things here. So, get that squish. You can see all these zombies sort of grouped up here. That's what I wanted to see. So boom, they're done for. We get a lot of points for it at the least, and then I can put this here. Another walnut maybe, yep, right there. That's pretty good. And luckily, we're keeping up pretty well with sun. So we're just hoping that the Grapes of Wrath will kick in at a good time here, but while this walnut is being chewed away, I just need to slam it. Boom. Oh no, okay, that was actually perfect timing because that walnut just disappeared in that moment. Oh, this is so stressful. I think that for right now I'll do this one and then just maybe another walnut here. That one imp is happily chomping away. I gotta get rid of that one. There. And I'm hoping that I can just time this just right and 
Boom, got it. Now that bottom walnut is what's got me really concerned here. But the imp on the top actually says, no, you should be more worried about me. Oh no, come on. The grapes are almost here though. If they can just kick in, we'll be in a much better situation. So I'll put that walnut there. I think I would rather just get rid of this imp for now because it's the closest one and that will sort of get really messy really fast. Oh man, come on, come on. I think we got this covered with the Grapes of Wrath coming in. Okay, okay, got it. Nice, that was pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and just squash you an extra walnut here for good measure. And then if we just speed this up a little bit, cause it's just this one zombie now. All we need to do is wait for the squash to come back out. There we go, we did it. So, long clear, we made it through a bunch of gravestones, again, 51 coins and an extra taco ticket, excellent. All right, so with that done, what else do we got going on around here? It looks like for day three, we can add a statue to the garden. We have this crazy Dave one. Oh, this fancy art, and a little well. I think I like the crazy Dave one. <laughs> Do zombies fear statues? They should flog or fear this one. I installed in Dave Tech laser beams. Preserve it. All right. The garden is taking shape, creator Dave. It is almost as if it were ne was never destroyed by a rogue lawn mowing bot. Almost. Ah. Hey, let's brighten up the place with a brand new sunflower patch and some nice picnic tables. <laughs> Splendiferous suggestions, Patrice. Just what this garden needs. Elsewhere, uh-oh, what's on boss up to? <laughs> Tugboat, we must act while Crazy Dave is distracted. Use your putrid prowess to mess up his precious pool. That should slow them down. Tug, Tugboat, Tugboat. <laughs> tired, preposterous, you're a zombie. You don't get tired, commence operation. Mess up Crazy Dave's pool at once. All right, well, they're gonna be messing up our pool while we're fixing the garden. Nothing can ever just stay nice, can it? Let's try level 29, where I guess, oh, we had the snow pea! Shoots frozen peas to slow down zombies. Chilling. Use snow pea to slow down the zombies. Happy to see the snow pea here, as you can see, it does exactly as advertised. It slows down the zombies, no problem. The other zombies might catch up a little bit, so let's get to planting as soon as we can. I think for right now, we gotta go all in on some flowers. Just like that, maybe even a walnut here. I don't know if it was entirely necessary, but I just want as many sunflowers as possible because all we have here is sunflower, walnut, snow pea. So if we can just get a lot of sun production figured out, somehow the snow pea is the same price as a normal pugiator. Typically they're a little bit more expensive. So I wasn't expecting that. It may just be that maybe it fires slower or just doesn't do as much damage because as you can see, it's having a hard time actually keeping up with the feeding all of these zombies. I will set up another one of these and just get more sunflowers out as soon as possible because we do need a lot more. Oh my goodness. Three imps popping out the same exact time is a little bit more than I bargained for. I feel like that's not fair. Uh, I'll get this one here. I just don't see how I can do that. Um, Cause these just don't restore in time. Uh, maybe I could put that there, slow it down, and then come on, come on. I need a walnut right up here as soon as possible. This is getting really messy. Final wave is approaching though. Maybe the Grapes of Wrath can come in and save me. We'll have to wait and see, cause that imp is knocked out. I still don't have a Snoopy up here. There we go. Oh man. Yeah, this is looking a little disastrous. We don't even have a walnut for that top lane. I will do this and then come on. In just a moment, I will be able to make that happen. If I can get the sun here, walnut there. That was at the last moment, so scary. Okay, so let's get more sunflowers out wherever I can then. Because that top lane is the one that's uh, making me a lot more nervous. Here, I'll just do that now. It's good enough, right? If the grapes can kick in in just a few moments, which I think they will, that'll make it a lot more survivable. I'll do a walnut there and then actually dig up a sunflower so that maybe I could put a snow pea there. Wish we could have gotten a little bit of extra firepower here. 
But of course, we also have the power ups on the right. I'm just trying to save those for the levels that I'm like properly stuck on. Okay, this should do a lot of damage to these zombies. There we go. Grapes of Wrath coming in to save the day. Yet again, another long clear. And we got introduced to the snow piece, so I had a great time there. 46 more points for that level. We're doing pretty darn good. So, with that done, going over here and planting a sunflower patch seems to be the best thing for now. Sunflowers always make me smile. Oh, they're so adorable. All right, so that's pretty cool, these baby sunflowers around. How are we doing here? Cause yeah, I got one of these done. I guess it already gave it to me, so we're working on this one. The thing is, it doesn't really tell me how far along I am. I just sort of have to know. Uh, I think I'm five levels in. I guess we'll see. Uh, for this one, we get sunflower, walnut, snow pea, and squash. So we're basically getting what I wanted in the last level, just an extra bit of defense with the squash. It looks like I don't get anything when it comes to actually extra plants on the field this time. So it's all in with just putting some flowers out as soon as possible. Just however I can buy some time is what we're really focused on on top of that. So maybe just doing this. Oh, the imp is gonna be shuffling over really fast. And that might be where I wanna resort to a squash when it's all the way to the left. Cause I don't know if this game will work like other PVC games where the other set of zombies won't spawn in until this one zombie moves far enough over. So I'm trying to sort of keep that in mind. I think I'll do a walnut there, then one more sunflower here, and then we'll start working on getting snow peas out wherever we can. So I have a feeling this is gonna get really complicated really fast. So maybe one more sunflower out somewhere. Luckily, the rest of these zombies should be, you know, shuffling decently slow, but even then, they're gonna get here, and I gotta be ready for it. It's getting to that point in the game where they're just already throwing a lot of difficult stuff our way. Okay, so I think I need a squash for this one on the bottom. I'll do a snow pea here, and we'll just wait for a squash with one more bit of sun. Come on. Got it, got it. Okay, so that's not so bad, but this middle lane still has a zombie marching down, and I don't have too much of a response for it at the moment. The Grapes of Wrath are gonna be a bit of time, so I just need to sort of hope that this right here, and then this right there, is enough to last me a few more moments. Oh man. Feels like these levels, some of them go by pretty quick, but then some of them are just so overwhelming. And this isn't even the last, one, we have more after this, so oh boy, didn't even realize that. Okay, so what I probably wanna do here then is set up a snow pea there, and then if I could just get a little bit more sun, so I can set up a one up there, one more piece of sun, and we should be able to super slam on a bunch of these zombies, just like that, that's what I wanna see. Okay, final wave approaching, the Grapes of Wrath is about to kick in, come on. Just a few more moments, it's all I can afford. Here they come. Okay, and that at least set them back a good amount, so that's good, but I don't know if it'll be enough because it's sort of focused on the zombies farther back, so I guess we'll have to use Mo here. Those are worse situations. I'm not gonna complain about that too much. There we go. Put a walnut up that way. And this lane on the bottom is what I'm mostly worried about now. I don't know how long that walnut's gonna last, so if I could just get a few more sunflowers out, so once again, we can focus on the squash. I think that's good. All right, ready. Ooh, do I need it? I don't quite know yet. If this walnut like, gets devoured before I can replace it, then yeah, sure. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Boom, go over here, and then squish these guys. Got it. I'll do a bit of that there. And I think with that, we should be fine. It might get a little dicey still. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I can just replace that walnut just like that. Yeah, now it's just a matter of time. Waiting for the squash to come back up. Just like this, boom, and got it. All right, we're good. Long clear. Okay, so a bunch more gravestones. That's all good, 51 coins in total. And we get a lunchtime event. You got an event reward. I think that's for getting six wins on the first try. Awesome, 200 coins, a couple more power-ups. Things are looking pretty good for us there. 
Now we're back out this way. You've unlocked Vase Breaker. Win a Vase Breaker level each day to get free lives. That's awesome. Tap to play Vase Breaker and collect your free lives. Whoa, this is so cool. It's like a little arcade machine. All right, so let's see what we get here. Ready, set, break. All right, so I just get to break some vases just like good old vase breaker from in the past. I wanna go with this one because it's just a weird shape. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't have the sun for that. Okay, now I do. So we'll get a squash ready there for that bucket head. And I guess if it's gonna be, yeah, we want them all to stack up, right? That might be the best idea, is to wait for them to stack up at the walnut. I might have gone a little too soon there. Okay, yeah, that's definitely the plan. I'm a little bit nervous we won't be able to make it happen now, but if we do that there, and then just a little bit longer, place. Got it, boom, we did it! So there's our daily vase breaker play. That was a lot of fun. I sort of wish it was a full mode, but you earned a reward. I, I guess, uh, I guess I needed that. I don't know. It was just fun. I think the reward was just playing Vase Breaker. We can play it again in an hour, actually. It's not even daily. I guess we won't get a reward for it or something? Weird. Either way, we do get a ticket over here. Construct picnic tables. Sure. So, ooh, I think we gotta to keep with our theme here. Either this one or this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. There we go. Frank, I park my butt on that any day of the week, except Thursday. I'm busy on Thursdays. Aren't we all? All right, what's going on now? Uncle Dave, looks like this tree thing up on the hill survived most rampage. What is it? <laughs> oh, that old growl? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> it's a top secret experimental plant I started growing right before that long nap. It looks murgwomba. Huh? Wow, what is it? A melon that vaporizes anything it touches? A zucchini that warps the very fabric of space and time? Do you think it could help us defeat Dr. Zomboss if we can save it with your secret plant formula? There's only one way to find out. Let's add a tiny drop and see what happens. All right, sure. So to do that, of course, we need another taco ticket. So let's hop back into a level, and with this one, we get the snow pea and the bong choy, but no walnut. So that can make things a little bit more complicated. Let's play it and see if we can't survive through. So ready, set, plant. We're starting with one sunflower, a snow pea, and two bong choy. So definitely, I think, with that advantage, we just need to place as much of the sunflowers as possible, as we do every level. I feel like I say that every time, like sunflowers, sunflowers, but it's true. It's just so important to get as much sun flowing in early while we have the space to breathe. So definitely gonna do that. I can put that there, and then maybe after two more sun, I can get a snow pea down. Cause I think one snow pea can handle a brown coat from that distance. Takes a bit of time, but that's what we have right now. It's plenty of time. Okay, I think this is definitely one of the levels where I want to get two uh, rows, lanes, columns, whatever of sunflowers. But I do have to be careful because as you can already see, we have this imp marching over super duper fast. I'm a little bit worried it's gonna eat through my sunflowers already, but we'll have to wait and see if that's actually the case. Another zombie's popping out of the woodworks really fast here. Another snow pea maybe here? Yeah, okay. And unfortunately, yeah, they claimed one of my sunflowers even when it slowed down, that's crazy. Okay, one more sun, should get us a snow pea there. We just need one more sun either from the sky or the sunflower, take another sunflower right there. Okay. So I think we got this covered, but I gotta start saving up for bong choice now. Oh no, I'm a little bit afraid of that one zombie. I think the snow pea should get it, but let's do something like that and then maybe here. I think that's pretty good. Oh, I probably should have done the second at the top, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Come on, just a little bit more sun. Just a little bit more, put it right here, I guess. That should be fine. That should be fine. All right, uh, getting us either two to three points is still pretty nice. I just wish the snow, the snow peas worked a little bit harder because I'm afraid yeah, that bong choy is actually gonna get gobbled up. Darn, with no walnuts, it gets so difficult, so complicated. Come on, get a couple more punches out there. Can that bong choy get rid of any of them? I don't know if it can. The final wave is approaching. The grapes of wrath are trying to do their thing soon enough here. Um, I think I just put this here. There we go. Come on, grapes. Come on, grapes. There we go. Getting rid of a lot of them. Excellent. Get that over there. Maybe another sunflower on this side. 
Keep punching bong choys. Keep freezing snow peas. You guys got it for sure. I will get you here. So you can just speed up that cone head. There we go. Excellent. So, I have to worry about that bucket head down that way. And I think the best way to do that would be to start punching it from behind again. So just gonna wait for it to move a little bit farther along. And then we go. And I probably wanna dig up this sunflower just to put another snow pea there. And that should be it. Awesome, so we complete level 31, and with it, of course, get more rewards. I'm gonna start zooming past these because we've seen it enough times as it is. There we go, 64 coins is pretty nice. And uh, now, save experimental tree, do it. With a single drop. Hey look, that little fella's starting to sprout. That secret plant formula of yours sure works wonders, Uncle Dave. Clugabungus, you'll never guess what I just found over here. Query, is it a brand new crankshaft for an older model, mid-size lawnmower? No, a whole bunch of pipe to build an autoponic hydromatic Dave Tech sprinkler system. I was looking for those. I bet we can build a sprinkler system and have enough pipe left over for our fog vacuum. Let's get some water in this plant. All right, so build sprinkler system is actually gonna require two tickets this time. So that's a little bit more involved. And as you can see with this, I have one more, um, one of these rewards. So let's see if I can't just get that done as soon as I can. Right here, we get three squashes, a snow pea and a sunflower. Let's go for it. Okay, so with this one, as you can see, we got some squashes out to help us sort of survive the initial part of it. And I think that really we should mostly focus on getting some flowers and then snow peas out. The squashes if we really need them, but hopefully we'll get lucky and let her show up on the lane that already has a squash to buy me some more time. There we go. So far, no zombies at all. This is great. Okay, there they go. So that's Those two zombies are pretty far off. Enough for me to maybe put one or two more sunflowers down and then work on the snow peas. It's just these imps. These imps are more, I'm a lot more concerned about. Come on, I guess it, that might have not have been a good spot for it because as you can see, we still have that one. Ah, oh, darn, yeah, that might have not have been a good idea because unfortunately, we still have that one zombie marching over. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think for now, I just need to snow pee there and hope that that's enough to really stop you. Here's hoping, this is getting messy fast. Put that there. I think I might just have to eat the loss on the uh, one sunflower, the M and Mo. I think I'm just gonna have Mo do their thing. But that's good, because that means I don't have to worry about anything on that lane, and there's a cone head, a normal brown coat. There's a lot going on in that lane, so glad to sort of survive. Getting rid of two, two cone heads at once, I think would be good. All right. Oh, so stressful. I'll put this one here. There's just so many imps, oh my gosh. We almost have the Grapes of Wrath, and that's gonna be a big game changer here for sure. It should help us with this imp onslaught. Come on, come on, deal with the imps. Uh, I don't know if it's even gonna, it's not even gonna deal with them, it didn't even touch them. What was that? That was a disaster. Okay, Um, I don't even have a snow pee on every lane yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. So let's just, there we go, there we go. Do something like this, I guess. Ugh. That was good, but maybe not good enough. We'll have to wait and see. As more and more of the zombies are marching down, I just can't keep up with it. I'll get a sunflower out here. I know that's not long-term a good idea, but what are my other choices? There we go. That's our first lane with two snow peas on it. I think that second to the top one, I can just use a, oh man, a squash, just like this. Boom, get that there. So many of our sunflowers are getting gobbled up right now. Don't know how to feel about it. Okay, come on, come on. Cause it feels like we're making some, some progress in some ways, but we're losing it in others for sure. If I could just get one more sun. Oh man, just for this squash, cause we don't have Mo anymore. This is awful. So I'm, I'm down to one sunflower. So let's get another one out here. But even, this this level is ridiculous. Uh, I don't know what I wanna do here. I might just wanna 
take the loss on this one and try again because this doesn't feel about right. Like obviously, yeah, I don't want to spend. I'll lose 27 league points? That's rough, but I don't think it's worth 900 coins. I just want to try this one again. The zombies ate your brains. That's the second time we've ever failed a level, so I feel like overall we're still doing pretty good. But man, that was tough. Try again. Maybe this time I will do a sun boost? I don't know. I want to try it at least one more time before we really get too carried away with like using power-ups or something because we're going to need to use those for a long time, you know? Or save them up for a long time. So, that squash is gonna squish them, not too surprising. And maybe this time I'll just, I don't know, I guess it's, it's really hard to decide the best way to go about it because I could squash them, but then I never have enough sun to actually upgrade to the snow piece and before we know it, all the squashes are on cooldown. So, maybe I do that. And that'll get rid of two zombies at once, right? No, it won't, are you kidding me? Oh, that's the worst. Come on, maybe I can make enough to get a snow pea on the top there. That imp just moves so ridiculously fast. Okay, I need another sunflower as soon as possible. There we go. And then one more sun should get us another squash, so that's at least good. But are we ever gonna get it? There we go. Get that there. This here. I don't know how that did not hit that one zombie. So, maybe a snow pea here, just to slow down that whole group. Feels like a good idea to me. That way I can maybe even hit three of them at once, come on! Yes, no, not quite, it was so, so close though. All right, that's enough for a snow pea right here. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. We almost have the Grapes of Wrath again, but this is definitely better than it was last time. I'll take absolutely anything I can get here. What's nice about the snow peas is that they'll make the zombies sort of stack up a little bit more in some ways. So I should be able to do this and get rid of a huge chunk of them. Once again, is it actually enough though? Especially with this group here. Uh, I don't know if I actually need to do that. The Grapes of Wrath sort of started at that same moment. There we go, there we go. I'll get this one here. I need to work on getting more sunflowers out there, too. And if this one doesn't work out, maybe we'll use like a cherry bomb or something, but it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I thought that squash would get more done. I need to maybe get rid of this group. Oh, jeez. It's just so, so much. Ooh, got it. I'll get another snow pea here. I just wish we could get like walnuts or something too to help me out, but no, you just don't get any of that. It's just snow pea squashes and sunflowers. We almost have a few squashes available here. I hate to do that. There's still so much more to deal with here, but really running out of options. I think I'm going to strategically let that one snow pea get gobbled up so that the lawnmower can activate there and we can start focusing on other lanes. Cause those are all just gonna catch up just as fast as, as fast as this one is. So do that here. Get another sunflower over there. Grapes of Wrath doing its thing. Just great cause a buckethead is coming over to several bucketheads actually. So do that. Work on getting sunflowers wherever I can. Because guess what's coming up? More zombies. Way more zombies. Got it. Okay. I think we just want to get that there. I know this one sunflower is about to get destroyed, but if I can get rid of two bucket heads right there, that just seems like a no brainer. <laughs> Got it? Because, you know, zombies. Anyways. Uh, Let's do that, and then if I can wait for this one buckethead to get a little bit closer. There we go, should get rid of both of them. This is the last wave of it. We already are missing Mo though, so I just, I gotta be careful. Just gonna work on trying to slow those guys, slowing those guys down forever. Sunflower, right there. 
because there's no more zombies in the middle lane. That's really good to see. I think I will put you here. That seems silly, but at least it'll get rid of the one cone hat. And then maybe I could just, ooh. Almost got even more there, but ugh, not quite gonna work. Rapes of Wrath is about to kick in. Squash these guys. Nice, that was a huge chunk of them. Getting rid of them was definitely a big advantage. Okay, with the Grapes of Wrath exploding all over the place, that definitely made some good progress. Will it be enough to survive this? We'll have to wait and see. Can at least put that there. And, almost, almost, let's just speed this up. There we go, we did it. Awesome, lawn clear. Look at all the coins we got coming in. You're gonna reward 95 coins. I guess I'll double this one because I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna really need coins. So now we get 190 coins, not bad. All right, so we're almost at 4,000, we're closing in. So what do we got going on now? With that one ticket, that shouldn't be enough. We needed two tickets. Yep, so I need to hop back into another level here. This one with a lot more variety. We get the sunflower, walnut, uh, bamboo shoot, bong choy, and squash. Let's try it out here. Uh, once again, we won't use a power-up straight away because I don't know if I'll need it. Most plants can't be placed on water, but zombies are slowed while crossing. Oh, so this is a new element here at the campgrounds. We have water where they just have to tread across. All right, well, I'll do what I can about that. That does make it more complicated for some things, like actually getting the league points. But we'll see how it goes. So I probably just want to focus on some flowers as I always do, but eventually we want to get a good roster of bong choy and walnuts out here. But since it's going to be a bong choy combo situation, we only have to worry about the bong choys for a bit. So I can just focus on earning up sun in the meantime. Get that right there. Now my concern is that there isn't a ton of space for all the sunflowers if we also want to get uh, bamboo shoots out too. But I'm hoping that what we could probably do is just put some sunflowers down and then remove them for uh, bong choys later. I think that's a better idea overall. But even now, we're not earning up sun as fast as I'd hoped. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that's enough for a uh, bamboo shoot. Let's get that there. And then maybe do a squash for that one zombie on the bottom. I think that's a good idea, just considering everything else coming on around here. But yeah, this campground aesthetic is pretty cool. The river going through the level is pretty fun so far, even though it is a little complicated, a little difficult. Final wave approaching already, wow. Was not expecting that to happen all so soon. I haven't even seen the Grapes of Wrath, so luckily this seems like a quick level. I don't know if it'll be like the pool levels in PvZ1 or you know some of the water sections in PvZ2 where zombies will just pop out of the water, but so far it doesn't seem to be the case, luckily. I'll get a Bong Choy down there. I need a Wana on the top soon for sure. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe I'll put it on the bottom because that one actually has a cone head that's a little bit closer. Okay, Grapes of Wrath are about to kick in here any second now. Maybe if I squash some of these guys, it might give me some extra points. Ah, uh, not quite, they're a little too far over. Unfortunate, but it's fine. I might be able to reach some of them from here. Ooh, that does reach, awesome. Cool. That's gonna finish it off for sure. Pretty easy level, all things considered. Glad to see it. And some extra coins, not a ton, this time 46 coins in total, nice. So we're back out here with our two tickets. Now we can do this one. Whoa, so the tree's growing. It's a taco tree, no way. Would you look at that, it worked. And you said tacos don't grow on trees. Your top secret experiment was a taco tree? Figures. How exactly will these tacos be helpful in our quest to liberate Neighborville? By being super brittle, ultra tasty. Nom, nom, nom. They're all natural, you know. So I guess we have tacos now. Oh no, those hungry birds are back. Stay away from my all natural organically grown tacos. 
Tackle protection protocol activated. Initiating weapon system. No unnecessary mulching of birds, please, Mo. We need, we just need to place a scarecrow to scare them off. All right, well, I can do that. So place a scarecrow, of course, to do that, we'll have to play another level. So with this one, it's sunflowers, walnuts, snow peas, and a squash. So, whoa, even more water distributed across all this. This is definitely where it's gonna get a whole lot more difficult if it wasn't already. So I guess we'll just put the sunflowers in these back corners for now. It gives me some extra space to work on other stuff, that's great. We don't want bunk choys this time, so definitely is gonna be a lot more difficult, I think. Actually, I might put some flowers up there a bit more too, because I'm trying to think about all sorts of stuff here, but mostly just the more space snow peas have, the better, usually. I'll do a squash for this one. I think that's a good idea. And then I'll do a snow pea on that one. For that though, I will need one more sun. If any of these sunflowers would be so kind. There you go. Okay, I definitely need to get two more sunflowers out of here, so let's get that one. And there we go. We do have walnuts that I definitely need to take advantage of, but I just need more incoming sun is the problem. So I do that. I can get one more sunflower just like that. And these should get to producing soon enough here. And I will put a squash there. Okay, got it. So, let's get that one set up over there too. Just getting these walnuts in the water might be enough to get us in a better situation, especially with that imp coming up there. I probably wanna Ooh, yeah, let's do this. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Let's try to make sure I get that squash soon because they're gonna eat up through that walnut. Like nobody's business. I guess I'll do this too. Oh no. This is not good. Set up another walnut. Almost got the squash, come on. Right there, excellent. Now we're getting a lot more sun coming in, but that's gonna change as they start to gobble up all these plants. Not good, not good. Uh, I guess for right now, I don't know. Uh, I think we're fine if I set up something like this. It's a little scary. But I need to get this here. This isn't even the final wave, but the Grapes of Wrath are almost here. If we can hold out for that, the squash is gonna squish the zombies in the middle, so don't have to worry about that one too much. There go the grapes, but unfortunately a lot of them landed right where <laughs> the squash squished them, so it didn't really matter too much. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Put the squash here, go like this. Maybe a few more sunflowers here and there, maybe even just way up here. I mean, it has to produce two sun for the break even, so maybe not a good idea. It might be a waste of sun overall, depending on how the zombies spawn in. Okay, I'll get this one here. I don't know if we're gonna get Grapes of Wrath again by the time this level ends. So I think we're sort of on our own at this point. But that should be okay. Between all the different plants we have out here, if I can just squash up a couple more of them, I think we'll be okay. So maybe I'll speed this up a bit even, just to save us some time. There we go, got it. I will get a sunflower here, walnut there, another snow pea right there. That seems like a good idea. Maybe slow it down again because I'm getting a little scared. These are the last of the zombies out. So I'll do that. And I think we're fine, I think we're fine. Yep, there we go, we did it. We made it through another level, long clear. So that is enough, of course, for us to uh, put out a scarecrow and get 61 points. So for launch time, you got an event reward to have to claim your prize. In this one, we get 300 coins and a couple more power-ups. I'm just gonna save those up for as long as I can and exactly 4,000 coins in total. Pretty cool. Okay, so right over here, uh, upgrade this thing. And which one do I want? Oh, they're all so cool. So we got like a normal scarecrow, a sunflower themed one, or a pea shooter themed one. I think I'll go with the sunflower one. I like it. That scarecrow should keep those rabble birds away from my precious taco tree. What a beauty she is. I could just stand here and stare at her all day. All day later. <laughs> Aw. They're just hanging out now. 
Uh oh. What was that? Something's in the bushes. What is that thing? Uh, hello? Ah, it's a squirrel. <laughs> All right, well, squirrels aren't so bad. Oh, but they're so cute. Oh, look, it's just little squirrel, Uncle Dave. <laughs> I bet you thought it was a zombie, didn't you? Well, it could have been a zombie. They can be real sneaky. Poor little fellow looks terrified. I'm going to add a squirrel bath to the garden just for you to relax in. Uncle Dave, you should install a zombie alarm system to keep your our, our new squirrel friend safe. That'd be a great idea. So our new task is to build a squirrel bath and to make a zombie alarm system. So for this next level, we have bamboo shoot, bong choy, and a squash. Some levels start with lots more sun than usual. You can start planting right off the bat, but there's no sunflower for more, so make the most out of it. So will any fall out of the sky? I'm guessing no. Uh, so let's see what we can do. I'm a little nervous about this one, so we'll only wanna plant what we need when we need it, most likely. So we'll see what zombies pop up first, and I can even, oh, oh no, okay, I do get more sun from the sky, so that does make things a little bit more survivable in that way. Uh, First zombies popping up. I think I can do a bamboo shoot against a normal brown coat like that, no problem. And that should destroy him before he gets to us. So that's good. And if I keep collecting the sun from the sky, that'll just at least help us afford a bit more if we need it. Okay, and there's an imp coming out. The imp should get knocked out by the bamboo shoot too. I'm just sort of trying to be like slow and steady with it at the moment, but maybe I can get my next bamboo shoot just right there. And then there's a zombie coming in from right over there. I'm a little bit worried about bong choys because we don't have any walnuts to protect them. Okay, we'll definitely get this here. Cause that'll be a one shot on the imp. There we go. There we go. We're getting somewhere with it. I guess I'll get a full setup of, uh, Bamboo shoots and see how that works. I definitely want to have some leftover sun here and there. But just, you know, for mostly squashes or anything terrifying like that. I could just do a ton of bamboo shoots, so if I really wanted to. We'll do that for now. If that bong choy looks like it's in danger, I'll plop down a squash. But I think we'll be okay for the most part. We'll have to wait and see. They're gonna keep punching. Ooh, there goes one of them. That was pretty good, but just really trying to watch over everything and see what might need this. Okay, grab that. I think we're fine. Awesome. So no, this is working out pretty well. I think we'll do one more here. And then I really should be able to start getting more bamboo shoots out. The final wave is already approaching. We sort of destroyed this already. That's good. Um, So let's get maybe another Bamboo shoot there. Okay, that's pretty good. Another one here. I'll do a squash for this lane. And then maybe just an extra one here. And that should be enough, actually a really easy level. Happy to see it. And boom, knocked it out, got some extra points for it too. That's what we like to see, the lawn is clear. Get a bunch of extra coins, 53 in total. And we can make ourselves a little uh, squirrel bath, right? Build a squirrel bath. Which one do we want? <laughs> the squirrels are too, so cute. I think, ooh, this one I definitely like the most. This one also has like a little like acorn dispenser, I guess. I like this one the most, so I'm gonna go with this one. There you are, my little friend. A new squirrel bath just for you. This garden is a safe haven for all living things, except pigeons. What's wrong with pigeons? Who knows? Um, how is this going, by the way? We're almost at our last treasure chest. We're slowly making our way up. We're almost at 800 points in total, which is pretty nice. Uh, we completed the one, you know, defeat levels in the first try thing, so that's gone. So this next level, it said hard underneath it, or I guess on, the, on this screen, above the play button. That's scary. So we have sunflower, pea shooter, bong choy, and squash. Let's see what's so hard about this level in particular. I mean, we're starting with a whole row of snow peas. That's quite the advantage. All right, got it. 
We're just gonna try to be as prepared as possible for whatever is supposed to be so hard about this one. We don't get any snow pea replacement, so keeping those plants safe is definitely a part of my goal. So I think a whole row of sunflowers to start with is probably a good idea. And then maybe some accompanying bunk choice after might be good. Have enough for a bong choy if I need it. Probably on this spot with the double cone heads. Seems like a good idea. A little bit more sunflowers here and there might also be an idea worth pursuing. And I do have the squash if we need it. It looks like in that middle lane I'm going to need it. There we go. So, get that there. think, oh boy. Yeah, let's go ahead, squash here, bong choy there just to finish up this guy, and I think we should be able to knock it out. Yeah, right before the bong choy gets eaten. That was really scary, actually, but we found a way to make it work. These other lanes are starting to really stack up against us. I think we can punch this, this set of them away, and then hopefully the squash is available for that top lane. Oh man, keep punching bong choy, you got this, for sure. Okay, boom, boom, boom. That was pretty good. Things are stacking up even higher now, though. Man, so we might lose a sunflower there, but honestly, out of everything, that's not too bad. I will get a pea shooter down there. And then, if I can get one more point, I can probably just punch you away before you even damage that snow pea. That's great. We need one more bong choy at some point, but for right now, since we don't, I'll use a squash. Okay. I think I'll do this here. Yeah, this seems like a good idea because these guys are getting scary. Can we get rid of this bucket head in time? I think we can, just barely. All right, things are actually happening here. We have our last giant wave, I think, coming up in a moment, or maybe this is it. No, final wave approach. Here we go. So I think we'll be okay. We're gonna find out soon enough. I think that as like an extra layer of production and, of course, added sun production, what I'll do is put a sunflower here it makes it so that they have to take a little bit more time to eat through everything. And also, it gives us extra sun for when we really need that. Okay, if we could maybe do this. Are you gonna jump backwards? You are for the triple three-pointer. That was amazing. And then we could put some bong choice behind them too. So that's where we can really make some work happen. Get rid of some of those bucket heads as soon as possible. Start punching this guy too. All right. So, what do we got going on now? Lawn clear. And we can get all these coins. 131 coins for that level, that is a huge reward. And of course, one taco ticket. So now that we're heading back to the campground, I can spend that taco ticket on installing a zombie alarm system. All right. Whoa. The garden has been skaggity secured with my Dave Tech zombie alarm. I even have some conductors left for the fog vacuum. Whoa, okay. Huh? Now what? The garden looks great, but something really smells r like rotten zombie butt. P.U. Frample blurb. Sorry. Ah. It's not you, Uncle Dave. The smell is wafting in from over there. We'll just have to follow our noses to and investigate. Unable to comply, niece Patrice. The nose apparatus not found. <laughs> Just stick with me. I'll follow the smell. Did I mention that I earned my scent tracking badge at summer camp? You had a busy summer. So new task, follow the funky smell. But to do that, we will need to complete two more levels where we have the lily pad. Whoa, returning plant. Plants can float on water with a lily pad under them. Supportive. Cool, so let's get this level done. Lily pads allow you to place other plants on water. All right, well, good to know. Um, place bong choy on a lily pad, just like this. It's in, middle, in the middle of the air for the moment, but it'll land there in a second. There you go, very cool. So, now we actually have more defenses we can set up on the water, that is fantastic. And they're free, there's zero sun in this game. That's awesome. So I wanna be putting those out basically always because if not anything else, it'll buy me time, right? The zombies will have to eat through those. 
So it's really like a, you know, like a, a puff shroom kind of situation with how we want to deal with those, I think. Um, I'll put this here and then get another bong choy there and just start punching away at those zombies. And now we can start getting the bong choys to start punching on the three pointer lane again, which is fantastic. Let's get this here, a walnut there, more sunflowers wherever I can afford them too. We really need to keep things moving and I think we're doing a great job. Another lily pad right there, seems like a good idea. I'll wait to see exactly where the zombies are popping up before I place another bong choy. It looks like I can just go right here. Excellent. More zombies are marching in. But I think we'll be okay. I really do like the music in this game so far too. It sort of has some nice jams to it. So we'll see, can a zombie, the zombies do have to eat through the lily pad. So that does buy me a sufficient amount of time. So I can put this walnut on there. And be pretty comfortable with the fact that, you know, they're, they're gonna take their time to get through all that. Okay, get that there just like that. We're keeping on top of it pretty well. Get that there. Once again, they have to eat through it. Even if they all eat through to one chomp, that saves me a chomp. That could have been on the walnut. That's you know, the difference between losing and winning sometimes, so the lily pad's gonna be a very useful plant. Lawn clear. And look at this, some extra coins coming in 42 in total. Nice. Okay, so we still need to play one more level if we wanna get through this. Level 38 is, is not gonna be anything too crazy. It looks like we're just gonna be using more of the lily pad, but this time we have snow peas instead of bong choice. This one is actually just one lane of water instead of like one or two rows of water. So definitely a bit different in that way. So we probably won't need lily pads as much, but I will still obsessively place them every single moment that they're available. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I probably wanna get one behind. Where's the zombie gonna show up first? Of course, in the water. So I think that's probably where we'll do, hmm, I mean, another lily pad right there. Maybe I'll just do a snow pea about there. That feels pretty nice. I feel like I'm gonna have this head, this song stuck in my head all day. It just has this nice tune to it. All right, so I think we're gonna place another walnut. Let's ooh, do right here, I guess. And while that's happening, we have some terrifying situations going on in the other spots. I, can I put a lay pad on the ground? I cannot, oh no. Uh, Cause the imps are showing up now. Never like dealing with the imps. Okay. I think the pea shooter should be able to do away with it, but it is definitely gonna be a close situation. Um, I could get another walnut here and then just save up for a snow pea. They're the same price as just a normal pea shooter, so. Whatever's gonna get the job done in that way. Okay. That's a lot of zombies coming out. We still have a good few moments before the Grapes of Wrath is even available, so I'm just trying to make this happen. This is so much, and we don't have any kind of major hitting plant, something like the, uh, the squash or the bong choy, which once again just makes everything a little bit more complicated. Back there. I just wanna make sure we have a snow pea on every lane I can muster it right now. Come on, Grapes of Wrath, you're almost there. I guess it might be better to have them wait, though. Just for the, I'm gonna do this there. Okay, maybe another pea shooter. I don't know if that's actually a good idea, but the Grapes of Wrath can wait for this last wave of everything. Maybe that just works out better anyways. Um, I'll get that there. Some more zombies getting destroyed all over the place. That was pretty good, actually. There's still so many more zombies here that we still might be in a bad way. Okay, I need a walnut right here. And man, that second, the top lane, that one looks like a disaster waiting to happen. So I'm going to do this. I might just have to let Mo do their thing there. I don't think there's much of a chance to do anything else. Oh man. So yeah, get that there. Have Mo destroy that one. And then get a lily pad out somewhere. I guess I do this. Come on, come on. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, 
Okay, they're gonna eat away my snow pea, but no, no, I'm not back down there too. Oh no, I think I just need to use a cherry bomb. It is what it is, whatever, that's our first one we use. Long clear, I just did not feel like replaying through that level. This has been a long episode. Uh, let's go ahead and get our coins. And we will keep moving. That should be enough to get the last upgrade here at the campground, I believe. 14 out of 15, follow the funky smell. I guess it's not really an upgrade, but we're gonna do it. There we go. So we're heading out of the garden. Hmm, the scent is definitely coming from your pool, Uncle Dave, but I can't tell what's going on over there. Stupid Z-Fog. What could be causing that fun, fun, fun corporal stench? Those zombies better not be messing up my pool. Looks like Dr. Zomboss has something to say. Tugboat, status report. How is Operation Mess Up Crazy Dave's pool going? Over. Tugboat, come in, Tugboat. We're on a tight schedule here, Tugboat. Report, hello? <laughs> Nothing. Why did I even give him a walkie-talkie? No news from Tugboat, huh? Day three complete, as you can see, our progress through the garden. So good. It's looking wonderful here now. That's awesome, so now it's lunchtime. You get a, get a uh, task reward. And there's going to be more coins, another rake, and some more brain time. Excellent stuff there for sure. So we've made some great progress here, but when it comes to what's next for us in day four, we'll have to save that for, of course, the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.